Now that many police officers wear body cameras, what's the point of police reports? Today I'm going to cover what the purposes of a police report is, different views on how body cameras impact police reports, and how officers should think about their body cameras when deciding how to write police reports. I'm Steve Serbalik, and I'm a panel attorney with ASCOPS in Arizona. Before I can really dive into this topic, it's important for you to know that there's actually a debate raging around the country of what the purpose of a police report is when body cameras are involved. This is because prior to body cameras, police reports were the main tool for officers to document what happened, what the officer's role was in conducting law enforcement investigations. With body cameras, there are different theories on what the purpose of a police report actually is. For example, is a police report supposed to capture the best evidence gathered by the officer at the scene, including what they learn from outside sources like video? Or is the police report only intended to capture what the officer remembers? The problem with the second option, reports based upon memory, is that memory is not perfect. So what happens if an officer's memory of what he or she saw is contradicted by the body camera footage? Does this create an integrity issue for the officer? And what happens if the officer changes his or her story after seeing body camera footage? Does this mean that he or she wasn't honest in the initial report? Of course not. But these are the questions that certain members of the public might ask or that defense attorneys might use in court. So officers need to keep these concepts in mind when writing police reports. Now that you know some of the concerns related to body cameras and reports, let's talk about some best practices for officers who wear body cameras and who continue to write reports. First, follow your agency's policies. If you aren't allowed to watch footage prior to writing a report, don't violate policy but also include in your report that you wrote your statement without the benefit of reviewing your camera footage and that you reserve the right to supplement your report at a later date after reviewing the footage. In my opinion, agencies that don't allow officers to review footage prior to writing reports are setting their officers up for failure as defense attorneys will attempt to attack officers' credibility if and when the officer changes his or her report based upon the refreshed recollection, something that's not ideal. On the other hand, if your agency does allow you to review your body camera footage, take advantage of this prior to writing your report. But if the footage shows something that you didn't see when you acted, that's okay. The camera is focused in one direction and never looks away, which is not how human beings work. And as discussed in prior videos on this channel, you are expected to be objectively reasonable, which means that your actions are judged by a standard of what a reasonable officer would have considered at the time, not judged by 2020 hindsight. So for use of force cases, for example, this means that you can and should articulate what your impressions were at the time that you used force, especially if what you saw or missed appears on body camera video. With all of this in mind, if you find yourself in a situation where you review your video and are concerned about how it may impact your report, don't go at it alone. Reach out to an expert for advice. Lawyers like me and organizations like ASCOPS are here to help. And we'd rather get a call prior to a report being submitted. If you found this video helpful, please take the time to hit the like button below and subscribe for more law enforcement lessons. Videos are published every Sunday at 5.30 p.m. Arizona time. Thanks for watching. I'm Steve Serbalik. Stay safe out there.